They must have heard I was back. Just left work and jamming out on my way to the warehouse. You gotta jam out after work. This guy is probably going to think I'm crazy, but I gotta vlog it up. I gotta get some fuel for the Duramax. The Duramax is like bone dry. A lot of cruising around lately. Uh, I actually just saw Chris, he was over here next to this Ford and he's going to buy a lift for his new shop, which is really cool. It's nice catching up with everybody. Actually, there's Chris right there. I made it to the warehouse. Man, it felt like forever. Everybody was going super, super slow in traffic. I guess that's just the way it goes. When I feel like I'm in a rush, everybody else feels like they're going slow. Pick up the pace, people, pick up the pace. Speaking of picking up things, I did end up picking up some things on my way back from work. Work was pretty good. Um, that I actually bought a couple days ago. This, on the other hand, I just picked up. This is like an on-road tire. And it's black, it should look way better on the brat board. Yep, I just got stuff everywhere. Anyways, that instead of that, boom. We're not gonna put that on just yet. However, I need to plan on where I'm going to put that paint. Now, if you guys remember from yesterday's vlog, I said that I wanted to paint this thing. Well, I got red, white, and blue. We're painting this an American flag. That's right, just like up there. I just don't know because this is huge and nobody has done this before. I need to figure out the ratio between sizes and, and things like that. This should get interesting. This is old school. That's really old school because it broke. Now that's old school. I dig it. You got the old school with the new school with America. All right, anyways, let's rip off this Benjamin. Where's my cellular device? Now I'm going to have to do a little bit of math. Now I didn't accomplish my engineering degree and, and that was what I was originally pursuing in college. I wanted to be a mechanical engineer. That didn't work because I wasn't good. I wasn't that good at math and I wasn't that good at physics. So now I'm a welder. Well, I got the welding degree, but I think I can figure this out. Kids, math is very, very good. I think I figured it out. I'm not gonna explain it, that's no fun. Now I just have to prep it. I have to sand it down, prime it, paint it. I don't think I'll get the stars on today, but I think I will get the blue and the stripes going on. Unfortunately, there's only two, four, six, eight stripes instead of 13. I know my stuff, I'm an American. And there are 30 stars, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really want to keep this on here because Jake's my good buddy and this was on here before I even moved in here. Sorry Jake, I, I, I gotta be patriotic buddy. I gotta make an awesome shelf, I hope you understand. Due to editing, you didn't know that I went home and I had to grab a few things. So I ended up printing off a couple stars. I got a 400 and a 500. And then here's some of the stuff I bought. There's our blue. The trick at Home Depot gave me a lot of advice. She asked me if I've ever painted before. I told her I painted my truck, but I've never painted something like this. I thought she meant like, have I ever painted like, actually applying the stuff? Like, sir, are you going to drip it on the walls? So I'm like, yeah, I've done this before. This is easy stuff. She's like, well, you gotta have this color for this color and that. Okay, I haven't done this before. So I don't know if she took advantage of me and sold me a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, this is everything I bought just for that. So obviously you know what an American flag looks like. So we have red, white, and blue. Now she suggested with the blue, I use gray primer. And with the red, I use gray primer. But when it comes to the white, what color do you think I should use? White. What color are those stars? Now if I apply gray here, it's gonna be hard to cover up the white. I personally think that the blue will cover the white and we won't have to worry about it. So are we gonna listen to the chick from Home Depot or are we gonna listen to 3D machines? That's what I thought. I came up with something else I gotta think of before I start applying paint. And that comes back to the stars. Now if we apply the white and then I apply the blue, like a solid blue square or rectangle, whatever that is, that's a rectangle then I'll have to paint white on the blue. So I actually have to do each star first and then paint around with blue. 
I thought painting my truck is a pain in the ass, but I think this is going to be a pain in the ass as well. It's not as easy to paint a 10 foot by 8 foot American flag. I applied all the white primer, now it's time for the gray primer. Before I do that though, I have to measure out what I came up with for the blue section so that way I'm not crossing. Because if I put gray where the white stars are going to go, then the white stars will be gray or tinted gray. So it's better to think twice than act and paint and then paint twice. Thinking sometimes hurts, but it's good for your brain. Now that the white and gray primers are applied, I figured I'd take this time and clean up the shop. Oh yeah, I need your advice. In the beginning of the video, you saw me wearing this hat. It looks like that. But then I also have this hat, which looks just like it, but can you tell the difference? There's two white lines going down the center. Now, do you like the two white lines, or do you like no white lines? I'd really appreciate your help because these are going to go on machinemerch.com. There are some sexy hats, so I wanna figure out which ones you guys like. That way I understand what's sexy and what's not sexy, and then we ship it to machinemerch.com and then make the whole world sexy. I'm not too sure what's in here. Sometimes I have so many projects going on that I don't know what I order or, or what's coming in. I need one of these like on my forehead at all times. Can you read that? Okay, now I get it. Okay, so what this is, is actually, it's right here. So as you guys know, I dropped this shirt yesterday and I told you if you bought one within 48 hours that I would give you a free machine decal with it. You guys are absolutely killing it. So I'm actually packaging each and every one of these. So I actually took a piece of paper, I'd print it out of my printer and then tape it on there with clear tape. So I figured it would be more efficient that is Cody B's uh, order. Thank you, Cody. I figured I could print it on a material that I could just stick right onto the bag and that would be more efficient. Now, I'm not, I don't need this money. I just figured I'd buy bulk. So yeah, within 40, so yes, so yes, within 48 hours, if you buy a shirt, for every shirt you buy, you will get a free machine decal. If you're watching this, you got about 24 hours. As you guys know, yesterday, I, whoa. As you guys know from yesterday's video, I told you guys that I really appreciate your feedback. I'm putting away some of my tools. And when I ask you questions, it's not that I'm talking to the wall. Like, I, I really want your input. I appreciate your input. It gives me a path in making these videos. So if you didn't answer that last question, I'll give you an opportunity to answer this question. And that is, would you guys dig if I put like a weapon wall here? So like, here's my first weapon, like the Thor hammer I made. Like, I'm thinking, you know, all right here or all right here. So I have like the hammer, have like machete, and then like the hook from what movie is it? I don't know, but it's, it's a big hook. A baseball bat with nails in it. I don't know, I'm digging that. Do you guys dig that? Now let me see you use these things and type in the answer in the comment section below. I'd appreciate it. It is starting to look like an American flag. The star thing has kind of screwed me up though. And I explained that previously. Now just like the Duramax, this is not just like a couple hour project or you know a, a day project, well an upload project. This is something that's going to take a little bit because of the stars. The stars screw it all up. So I tried to rush it and I tried to put this heater on and make it blow hot air on this and dry faster. But unfortunately I didn't have a full day because as you guys know I got a job. So I have to cut this short so I can upload this video, give you guys some entertainment. Put a, hopefully put a smile on your face. Look at that though, I can't get over that. That looks phenomenal. I hope you guys are digging the new shelf. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Stay good, stay great, stay phenomenal. Be a machine, be different. You know, anybody could just go out and buy a flag, but only machines, you know, bust out a pallet or, or bust out a huge shelf and start putting an American flag on it. If you're not from America, then you probably don't get the whole thing, but. Now, now this has the same thing in common as this. America is like a huge team. And, and this is our logo, this is our go-to, and this is what a lot of people are proud of. I can't get over that, it's Halloween and I'm missing all these Halloween activities. Like, there's some good things going on. I hope you machines enjoy your weekend. Until next time, 
3D machines out, turning your notifications on because I don't know when I'm going to upload. But it's always awesome. And it's always froggy fresh. See ya.